here uh, about to get started on best of 2022 watch which i only am partially sure that i spelled that right yes best of 2022 watch we're gonna be playing solar ash and heavenly bodies so we're gonna do about two hours of solar ash and then two hours of heavenly bodies um this is so starting with solar ash this is a game from the team behind hyper light drifter and it's i heard it's very similar to the pathless in feel now the interesting thing for me with this game is how will it fare compared to that game? Because I love The Pathless. The Pathless is a game that doesn't, you know, it's like PS5 launch vibes and it doesn't quite get um, a whole lot of love um, in some regards, right? Like I think it was sort of middling for a lot of people, but I really love The Pathless personally. I had a great time with it. And uh, I know a lot of people did as well, uh, notably Blessing from Kind of Funny, who I work with. He loves The Pathless and he said, this game is like The Pathless, but worse. Friend uh, Kyle Hilliard over at MinMax says, this game is like The Pathless, but better. And he also liked The Pathless. So one of these people is right or wrong to me. And I'm trying to figure out who's what or what's going on. So uh, welcome in, what's good? How's everyone doing today? Published by Annapurna, so a strong start there. Y'all know I fuck with Annapurna pretty heavy. We're gonna see how this goes. Yeah, very curious about this one. Do 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 solar ash. All right, let's hit the options first. Uh, let me know if the audio is uh, how the audio is going for y'all too. Usually, I'm gonna take the master volume down quite a bit just so that we can hear like alerts and stuff uh in my mic um but yeah it looks pretty good i don't think the sound is bleeding through to my microphone because i don't have headphones on today i just kind of didn't really feel like putting them on so what do we got i think those are right for the main ones i mean seems good to me let's get it going let me uh ping discord too let folks know that we're here, we're live, we're kicking things off. Um, excited to be here as always. Uh, let's see what else is going on. Oh my god, I have so many windows open. Just kind of everywhere. Alright, if I go to Game On Assist and I go to My Content, I can hit Out Viewer. There we go. Pretty good. The Edge of the Ultra Void, a world-eating black hole. Nothing can stop from consuming another planet except the Star Seed, a colossal device hypothesized to destroy black holes. Its creator, the Void Runners, have embarked on an impossible mission to save their home. Their final member, Ray, has reached the event horizon, but lost all communication, leaving everything behind. She prepares to pass through the cusp of reality. So, Kazario, okay, I'm here. Stream is over. Interesting switch play for it. I appreciate that. The art is so nice in this game. It's very pretty looking. Uh, Prince of the Universe says, I watched the min-max episode of your most anticipated games today. You guys are talking about Sonic Frontiers, and when I played this game, I literally said to myself, this is a 3D Sonic game, but good. See, Blessing also had the 3D Sonic comparison. I don't know if he felt like it was... I forgot what he said about it. I had listened to Kind of Funny's review pretty recently, and, um, that was, like, in part led by Blessing. Uh, Kyle Impersonator, thank you for the follow. It's funny, I was just mentioning Kyle Hilliard. So I don't know which Kyle you're impersonating, but I'm excited to find out. By the way, the hair is good too. Thank you. That's why, like, I, I didn't want to do the headphones because then I actually have my hair in all its glory. It's funny, when I have headphones on, my hair looks the same all the time. Literally, it's just, it's just, you just see the band of the, the headphones, so. I am the Kyle Hilliard. Wait, you're the Kyle? Get the, get out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Are you serious? I've never seen your twit, your Twitch, like, handle. Are you actually Kyle? Like, how will, I, how will I know that you're you, though, is the thing. Sounds like something a Kyle will person. Yeah, I am. Right? No, right? It sounds so suspicious. Okay, if you're actually the Kyle Hilliard, tell me, what is the game mechanic we are always saying that you like on the show? Ask me a question, I will only know. Uh, people would also know this if, um, what do you wear on Thursdays? What? Uh, people who listen to the show would also know this, though, but, you know... That's, that's the only thing I can think of. Because I don't know your, you know, the stories of your past or anything. It feels smooth. I like the feel so far. Um, I kind of wish... I wouldn't say it's framey, because I think it is very much keeping up, but it feels a little bit... I don't know, like it's almost... Not moving too fast for the camera, but a little bit. 
Um, I like going fast in large worlds. You have said that. The answer I was looking for, though, was the glider. That's what I was looking for. Um, if you are actually the Kyle, <laughs> what's your social security number? Okay, but Kyle, if you, this is, I'm going to assume this is you, because you said it was you, and you do like going fast in, in large worlds, and you have said that before. Seriously, though, I'm kind of, oh, you're lucky I have Slack on, which also I should turn Slack off because I don't want Slack notifications everywhere. Okay, that's the other way that I, I would know that you're you, just hitting me up on Slack. Um, cool, okay, Kyle, I'm glad you're here because I just started this game, I've never played it before. Um, and you or Blessing is lying to me based on my own perceptions of games, right? Obviously opinions are subjective, we all have our own takes and there's no, true truth to like, is a game good or not? Um, but both you and Blessing of Kind of Funny like The Pathless. I also like The Pathless. Um, he says this game is worse than The Pathless. You say it's better than The Pathless. So I am very curious as to who I'm gonna side with in this. We're gonna have to figure out how to, where, why am I not getting the verticality I need here? Obviously I'm missing something. Let me go back out real quick. It's like a double jump situation, but maybe I have to just go through each. Okay, L2 and X to jump, right? But, oh my God, there's, I was not expecting that double jump. I love a good double jump. Okay, we got a shield kit. I think Solar Ash is a little more condensed, which is why I like it more. The Pathless is also a good 3D Sonic game. Okay, this is officially the Kyle Hilliard, y'all. Ask whatever burning questions you have before he vanishes into the, the night. Um, but yeah, I am tentatively still excited about this. Because the other thing too is like, you know, I don't have to, like the Pathless is an interesting one because critically I would give the game a seven, an eight highest, right? Um, which, hey, that's still a pretty high score, right? But the Pathless definitely doesn't blow my mind or anything. I get why some people don't like it, but I really enjoyed it as kind of like a hidden gem in plain sight. And I'm hoping that this is what this game will be for me. I don't need it to change my whole life, but all right. It's intact, but not operational. Scanning for conduits. Okay, press and hold L1 to scan. I, I do enjoy scanning in games. I just like to scan. Burning questions. What's your favorite Paramore album? I don't think I know Paramore, but I've heard the name. Yes, this is definitely is Kyle confirmed. Um, that's a very Kyle answer to that question. Uh, got a reading on the CYD node at the base. Let's turn it on. What's what's that? Also, I'm really excited about this like new layout I'm going with. Um, the only con. The con, of course, is that and you have to start by going backwards. I love the look of this. It just looks like a bunch of ice cream, right? Also, is the is my stream window ever so slightly too small? I think it's like, let me just make it a little bit bigger. Cause I feel like I'm seeing some black on the edges here. Okay, now I think it's good. Y'all might be missing like the smallest of centimeters now, but I don't think it'll be too relevant. Um, but I like this new layout. This is the hosted overlay thing. I'll make a command for it to promote it. Um, I don't think it's public for people yet. Um, it's something Isaiah made, who, you know, made photo mode, um, movie otter. Um, many other projects, you know, boyfriend Janet, as as we know him here. But I like that I can kind of quickly customize um, with the uh, the colors of the game is sort of what I did here. I, I used coolers, that site that uh, brings up, I guess, gradients is what you call them. Wait, I want the goo. I don't know what the goo is really for, but I want it. Okay. You know, just because I'm putting Kyle's hot takes on blast here with this with this stream, because like he's the the person that I know who really liked this game the most of everyone I've talked to so far. Oh, you got to hold. Um, he mentioned that the skating here was better than it was in Ratchet, which in Ratchet is pretty minimal. Trophy honor. Um, but I think I'm inclined to agree. The skating in Ratchet it's very like abrasive, like it's high power rocket boot skating. Um, and you know they're integrating the the trigger stuff so. It's a little bit a lot. You kind of really got to pump it to skate. Hashtag trophy hunter. Hell yeah. Uh, what's good, chat? What's up, Real Martin? Maybe it's more. I feel like I should be reading this more. Hold on. Okay, what happened to you? Where's the team? Systems offline. Anomalous impediments detected. I'm going to read through this and then. Locations data to your multi tool. 
Then I'll catch up on chat. There's no way I can activate the star seed without Sid. Better scan for these anomalies. Okay, we're updating the map. Okay. Press and hold L1 to scan. Okay. So I guess this is just my new area. It seems simple enough. I'm not really grasping a lot of like what's going on narratively. I, th I feel like I have the, the broad beats, but I wish it was like maybe less like a, a little bit like less in your face, I guess. Um, but yeah, look at look at the, the art here. It's so nice. Um, let's see. We got scrolling back up. Uh, listen to the synthy music. That's good. I've also heard mixed things on the music. I'm okay with the. I feel like I'm not hearing a lot of it, but I also have it lowered. It's got a spacey sounds to it with the sound design. It's a vibe. I'm interested to see how the OST is actually going to kick up on this one. Um, hey everyone, it's been a while. What's up, Lola? Lola? I hope everyone's having a good start to the new year. Uh, I am. It took me a second to get my footing in the year, I think, but I feel like I'm finally here and I'm enjoying my time. Um, favorite of my album is the Yonoko album because there are more vibes. I thought the story was actually pretty interesting. Game is full. I do. The full voice acting is a surprise and impressive because that that shit is expensive. Uh, that's fair. Are those okay? Right. And then uh, I have no idea what that is. Um, yeah, sure thing. Let's see. I think that's everything. Maybe we're actually going to say a 3D Shadow the Hedgehog game instead. You just let you skate instead of run. Ooh. I didn't realize I had this little burst that I could do. Can I just, like, if I'm hold... How often can I do this? Just all the time? Wait, I went too far. I went too far. Oh, yeah, and then it's... Okay. Okay. Okay, we're kind of starting to, to, to get the vibes. Isaiah, too, can see the, um... The pathless DNA here. We got little enemies. This must be one of those anomalies. Better clear it out. You know, I think I am going to toss on the headphones just because I do want to be able to hear the spacey sounds a little better. Hopefully, that thing doesn't kill me while I'm doing this. Just so I can form more of an opinion on the soundtrack. Ooh. Okay. I thought. What the hell is it? Oh god. Why is it spicy? <laughs> Jeez. I think I like got banged up really bad from that. Oh my god, the toad impression? Okay. First character impression of the year. Hold on, this makes my hair like weird. Okay. Um What is it? A minute? Five minutes? Two I think I run active from five. I think I do three now. So three minutes on the clock. I need to find a way to integrate this in my overlay. We got the toad character impression. Okay, um... Oh, it's been so long! Uh... Hello! Hi! Happy New Year! Uh -huh. How do I get up here? Probably gotta... Go to... Oh, there's something on the sides! Oh! How do... How do I... Can I... Can I go up here? Does this hurt me? Yes? No? Maybe so? Oh, it's like a grap- it's like a grappling situation, like a climbing situation. That was a, a little questionable, but I think it's gonna work. Okay, what else do I need to do here? There's a thing here! Plasma checkpoint! Plasma activated! It's hard not to dip into the Rick and Morty voice with the toad voice. Ah! Solar Ash just really makes me think- Someone could make a good air gear game. <laughs> I'm sure someone can. Okay, let's see. Am I missing something here? I feel like I've been getting really lost in games the last, like, two weeks. Ah, I see now. Okay, okay. Alright, there's some space right here. Ooh. Let's try to- Ooh, hot, hot. Dead. Very, very dead. Okay. Okay, hold on. We're gonna figure it out. I'm guessing there's like only so many times you can grab out of the stuff before it burns. Oh my gosh. Okay. I gotta get better at this. Okay. Okay, let's see. Um. Mario! All right. There 
There we go. Okay. Nice simple climb. More good things to follow. Angel the answer. Appreciate it. Uh, we're here playing Solar Ash, and someone redeemed the toad redemption, so now I'm toad. And we're climbing. And we're here. Arkstar031, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Ooh. Oh. Uh. Good, bad? I don't know. All right, here we go. Oh! Oh, God. Dead. Oh, man, all the way back at the beginning, that's... That's real rough. Real rough stuff. All right, and that's the Toad character, Redemption. All right. <clears throat> Whoa, did not expect to end the stream straight and be, be attacked by a Toad impression. It, that's, that's what we can promise here. Okay, so I'm now now that now that Toad's gone, I can kind of speak more freely. Oh, so I think you have like an a set amount of time while this is still safe, something like that. Climbing on this goo, it feels pretty smooth to do. There's a little bit of um, I'm playing on PS5. There's a bit of that like haptic feedback, pretty subtle though. There's this. I'm not totally grasping every element of, like, UI here, but I don't think I, like, necessarily need to. Oh, I don't know if that was supposed to do anything. And then this looks cool. I like the animation here. I'm not sure... Oh, is it, like... Like, I need to keep going with this? Oh, shoot. Like, I have a limited time to... Oh, okay, I think I have to hit all these. Like, before they run out. Jet Set Radio Apocalypse. You know, I've never played Jet Set Radio. I think that's one of, like, Blessing's favorite games, yeah? Like, he talks about it all the time. Okay. Oh, R1. Okay! Alright, alright. I can dig it. That's pretty fun. Interference. Okay, cool. That was- I like that. I like that. That was cool. Um... Okay. I don't know if my map then got updated with no more stuff or what. I'm just gonna zoop down and see what happens. Like, should I check back in at this little base or... Let's see. What's going on? Hello, user. We are Sid. Why was this a roguelike? <laughs> no. No, it is not. Um, let's see. Uh, what else we got? Anomalous materials still present in Hey, the homie's back. What's up, many face Steph? How's it going? To detect interfering signal sources. Sid? Hello, use anomalous materials still present. Okay, so they're just telling me you use the multi tool to detect. detect okay. I think is this my multi tool? I'm not sure. So I think this kind of gives me like a clue on where to go. But yes, it is very structurally the pathless. I like the pathless though. I'm not sure how much I'm gonna get into the, the nice movement flow I had with the pathless, but cautiously optimistic. Okay. So I gotta get up here. Can probably zoop this way. Uh, what's up, Unique Technique? How's it going? Pretty good getting ready for my friend's 30th birthday party. How's your week been? Uh, week's been pretty nice. Um, I feel like I have made my life a little bit easier with my new schedule with streaming and, and content. I wrote an article this week, which is really exciting. What is... They want me to do something with this. Right? There's like a little icon there, but I don't know what they want me to do. Can I zoop up this way? Probably not. It's too, a little too slidey. Okay. Um, let's just explore. I'm sure it'll become clear. Uh, what's up, Kanzi? Is cool? How's it going? My shields are full. For now. Okay. 
I'm just gonna keep zooping around and we're gonna make sense of it together. Oops. Oh, oh, that didn't work. Okay, I'm still getting used to kind of the feel of stuff. Come on, you could have made that. There we go. Maybe if we do a uh, zoop and then a uh, double. Cute. Okay. Uh, what's up, the Pong bot? How's it going? We're out here playing Solar Ash. Um, I'm just, you know, with these early January streams for best of, there just really isn't anything out. Um, I kind of wish I, I need more of like an indie reach too, because I'm sure there's like probably some banger indie game that I've never heard of that's out now or something, but um, I could only do with what I knew. Um, I did like the um, the gameplay for it suggested for Amherst or something. It's like the Left 4 Dead like, but I'm just not into those kind of games. Somewhere out there, Kyle Heather is proud of the stream. <laughs> yeah, Kyle was in here earlier, actually. Um, yeah, he came through to grace us with his presence and his his kind words of wisdom. Right. Okay, we already talked. But we do have... Let's just go to this marker and see what's up. Yeah, Nobody Saves the World is what I have planned for next week. It's just like these first two streams, I'm like, I got nothing other than, um, you know, what I may miss in December, so... But yeah, I'm gonna play that just because I think it's a, a notable release. Like, really what I just look for in these is notable releases. Um, I'll play mostly anything. Sometimes I'll skip something because of genre, but even then I try to... Oh, here's the thing, the goo we can latch on to. Even with the genre differences, I still try to, like, hit up stuff. Because you never know. Maybe it'll be the one that will pop for you, you know? Okay. Oh god, I'm going too slow. Yeah, this is gonna work. This is gonna work. There's gotta be a different way up there. All right, let me restart it. Maybe up the sides or something, and then around. Loki, I'm so bored. Just counting down for Elden Ring. Um, I had a lot of fun. Um, you know, my recommendation for people. And obviously, we all have different gaming habits. But if you're like, man, I got nothing out here. Um, if you haven't, making sure that you played, uh, the last games for, uh, that, that have sequels coming out. So I just played through Horizon for the first time, and it was such a blast. Oh! Oh! Oh, no! Oh, no! 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 Yes! Okay. It's a solid time. I'm not wowed by this. But it's going okay so far. For like the paths comparison, I liked the pathless more. But I think this has potential as the puzzle scale. Really surprised this cut. Me too, Jake. Um, but that's that's another reason that made me. Uh, let me like, hear this real quick. That's another reason that I, I really want to give it some time to. Um, besides, again, admittedly, there's not anything out really right now. But I'm like, yo, Kyle loves this game. Let's let's see what's going on with it. You know. At the very least, I feel like if Kyle loves it, there's a good chance that I'll at least like it. You know what I mean? Um, I kind of want to kill those enemies that are there. Okay. All right. Woo! Oh, no. Man, you get... Oh, jeez. You get bodied real quick in this game. What's up, Neans? I was content with my God of War playthrough. Yeah, that's fair. Um, for me, I have, like... I actually have a lot of a lot of the banger games from, like, 2017, 2018 I did not roll credits on. So I finally finished Horizon. I actually have not finished God of War. Um, I forgot what happened there. I just got busy. Um, you know, people gotta remember, too, this was the era of me... Uh, Serial, what's good, what's good, thanks for the follow. This was the era of me not doing games media stuff full time. Like I was very much still, I either just finished teaching or I was still teaching at the time. So it just, you know, I put it down and I just never came back. Um, and then with uh, Breath of the Wild, I just put it down, also put it down and never came back. Like I was a little bit lost, like I needed like, I got stuck on one of the Divine Beasts, like the Electricity one, and then I looked up a guide. Actually, I actually looked up a IGN's guide at the time. And they are like, get your rubber suit and your Master Sword, and I'm like, I don't know where that is. And then when I was like, let me go look for it, 
I just got a little bit discouraged over over that element of it for me. Um, okay, well, I already talked to you, though, so I feel like we can just do something else. Doom. Um, so yeah, I have 80 hours in Breath of the Wild. Uh, still debating if I want to do a fresh playthrough or whatever. Uh, Kyle's games where he has to go fast. Yeah, he lit it That was his thing where I, his name's Kyle Impersonator. And I was like, who is... And I joked, I was like, because I had just finished talking about him. I'm like, oh, oh this is like the Kyle Impersonator, right? Like, this can't be Kyle. But it was. So that was a fun surprise. Okay. Let's use the ping thing that we got. Figure out where we're going next. I kind of wish these markers just stayed up. I don't really see the, the reasoning and not keeping them just up all the time. Maybe they want cleaner UI. Again, it's a very aesthetic game. Uh, thanks for the tweet out, Play for it. I appreciate it. <laughs> my last bit. Take it. Take my money. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, Please tell me the logs are intact. I liked the vibe of that, but it was kind of hard to like hear. So that was the con there. Like, I think that they sacrificed the world willing element for like, or like the fruit, like the vibes for clarity, which I'm never a fan of when that trade off is made, but I, you know, I can get it. And the text is still there. You can still read it. So uh, it can be equipped later at, okay, the suit reduces time slip cooldown. No. Sure. They hey, trophy me. honor. I just need to find the other void runners. I'm liking this all right. I was worried that like I wouldn't like it at all. I feel like this is decent. I will say I was a little bit more enamored with the gunk, which is what we played last week. This far in, but this is a little bit clearer on what you need to do. It's more fast paced, uh, which can be fun. Ooh, little old redeemed giant plush joins the party. Let's go grab Big B Rigby. Have his appearance be here. Oh, okay. It's been a year of streams and I still don't know the best way to have this thing here. I have yet to figure it out. I don't know if uh, this is something I want to talk to Isaiah about at some point, because I, I just don't know. I don't know how to like have this here comfortably. I have no idea. Um, we're gonna to, we'll think of something here. Let's see. Um, I don't know, cause I'm standing right now. I'm like my the, the standing version of my desk. We're gonna see. Let me see what I can do here, without knocking over all my coffee, which I did at the beginning of my subathon. If y'all caught that, that was quite a time. Okay, hold on. Hold on. We're reconverting to a non-headphone moment. And, oh, okay. I don't know, I don't have any ideas here. It is huge and I'm small. So it's like the the scale is is not skewed in my favor here. Okay, let's see. Um, I don't know what to, how to, you know what? Hold on, I have an idea. This, I'm making this more complicated than it needs to be. Okay, because we, we have technology. We can figure this out. So if we put Rigby in the chair. This thing is huge. I don't have the specs on this this uh, Squishmallow, but it's pretty gigantic. Okay. All right, we're figuring it out. And then maybe we can just... I don't know. I mean, this is, he's still not all the way in the square. The microphone just fell. I think we're getting closer. Hold on.
there's only so low I can put the desk before it becomes like it crushes like the PC that's underneath it. But hold on, we I have this one last thing I can do. Okay, that's about as good as it's gonna get. <laughs> Again, I wanna figure out something to make this not take, this is like a five minute redemption that takes me approximately five minutes to set up, but. Um, all right, let's do it. Five minutes on the clock. This is Bigby Rigby. Uh, he is a Squishmallow. Uh, Squishmallow is a brand of plushie. It's my favorite brand, brand of plushie. It's like, remember what Pillow Pets was? The five minutes already started also. Remember when pillow pets were like hot in the streets and we're like, this is great. It's a pillow. It's a pet. It's a pillow pet. Like who could forget it? iconic moment in all of our lives. Um, the con of pillow pet though, is that that shit was flat as hell. And the second you started using a pillow pet, it just got smooshered into oblivion. So, um, yeah, honestly, I'll probably, you know, I'll pick up the controller in a, in a minute or so. Um, but Squishmallows are, they're not marketed to be like a pillow pet type thing, but they're very comfortable. So like, if you sleep with a stuffed animal, they're great for that. If you just like cute stuff, they're great for that. If you um, want to use them as a pillow, honestly, they work pretty well as a pillow. Um, so by the way, the sleek new overlay, I'm glad you mentioned the overlay, actually. I don't know if Isaiah can hear me as I plug away. Um, if you want to jump into chat, Isaiah, you can feel free to link anything, um, your stream, whatever. It is, uh, made by Isaiah, uh, Isaiah by Dea. He streams on, uh, Twitch. He also is on Twitter and, uh, he's working on photo mode. He's also working on, there we go. Yeah. Shout out to boyfriend Janet. Uh, he has photo mode, uh, his old project movie otter and, um, hosted overlay will be, I think being added to that some point soon ish. Um, he uses it for his stream and I'm using it for mine now. And yeah, it's awesome. It's super customizable. Um, I'm sure we'll do like a walkthrough stream of how it works once it's actually available for more people to sign up and use. Um, I think he plans on just having it be a free thing, I'm pretty sure. Uh, he does have a Patreon and, you know, tip jars and stuff, which I'm sure he'd appreciate, or I don't know if he can make a, a paid version or something. Yeah, I need to clean up some things first, but it's coming soon. But yeah, it's super cool. It took me like seconds to set up and I suck at setting things up. So I love how easy it is to use, um, legitimately. And I'm like, even though I am a little bummed that it does eat up a little bit more of my gameplay screen, um, now that I'm gonna start putting my VODs on YouTube, I'm like, well, I want chat available. And this allows for like really good chat clarity. And then I actually plan, I'm gonna to talk to Isaiah at some point for cleaning up the stream, but I have plans of, um, I feel like I'm like sitting next to like a child or something. Um, I have plans to add some fun things on the bottom where there's kind of like some dead space on my stream right now. I wanna add, am I missing anything up here? No, this is just like the, the suit. Do I have the suit on though is my thing. How do I know if I'm wearing the suit? Did I, did I put the suit on? I don't know. I think I think I equipped it. Um, I have plans to like add something to explain like when the channel point redemptions are live because that's one thing I'd like to improve on my stream. Like it's funny to do the toad voice and the all the other stuff that we do here, but and the, the squishmallows. But it'd be cool if people could jump in and like, oh, this thing's happening and kind of figure it out on their own. Like I really like providing options for people and not everyone wants to come in and ask questions or talk or write or whatever. Um, and, and you know, it's it's always someone's first time here in the, in the stream and, ooh, this perspective is interesting. I love a good anti-gravity moment. Very Mario Kart, uh, what is it, where are we on? Mario Kart 8, right? Should, let me go down and kill these things. Everything's super strong. If they can't handle you at your toad, they don't deserve you at your Bigby Rigby. That that is true. It's a true statement. That came in really loud on my end. Um, yeah, I just like to be able to explain things more easily for people. Also, too, with this, doesn't it seem like I'd be the perfect person for a Squishmallow official partnership? I think so. Squishmallow Company, come through. I heard the name of the, co the parent company that runs Squishmallow. Oh, do I jump to the other one? What's? Oh, oh! Can grapple a longer distance if I activate my time 
Oh, the time slip. Right, right. Okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I got, I got you. I figured it out. Because you told me how to do it. Oh, psh. Okay, next time, though, we're going to do it for real. Hold on. Give it a second. Yeah, okay. Oh. Oh. You know, this kind of reminds me of God of War. Like, the old school God of War games. And by old school, I mean, like, the first one, which... I guess at this point is is fairly old um first try yeah is that ver yep clean flawless victory okay creator or boros massive anomaly okay fun oh, i think now we have to like square up i think like i don't want to fight anything though you know i just want to i just want to be um all right y'all that's big b rigby um squishmallow extraordinaire thank you for your service All right, there we go. Oh, also, as a fun, like, next level immersion into this game, y'all. I have my stupid board. I've tweeted about it and posted this on Instagram a few times, but from, God, what's the name of this company? Uplift? They have, like, these, like, little work boards that you can, like, swivel on and stand on and move around on. It's supposed to be good for, like, your just moving and, like, your core and stuff. So I'm on one of those for this game, and, uh, you know, yeah, next level immersion right here. It's very much like, God, what was that game? Like, well, I think one that Tony Hawk's came with, um, like you could get the board for it, or maybe like this, this one, this maybe like SS Trick, SSX Tricky, or some game like that that came with the board. Tony Hawk Ride, yes. It's like giving Tony Hawk Ride, but like a little bit, but made out of wood. Um, this is where it becomes, what if you put Sonic in Shadow of the Colossus as a video game? Which sounds like a very blessing moment, but I don't know, he wasn't that hot on it, but I can kind of, I can kind of get that. I can I can get it. I can get with it. I understand. So fun, funny enough, I think I'm kind of in between with opinions here. I don't think I... I think I might like it more than Blessing did. Or at least I, I might enjoy it more. I think critically we probably agree with it. Oh! Okay. I'm um, hard-pressed to imagine that I'll like it as much as Kyle does, but... I'm having a decent time with it. Come on, come on. Woo. Pump it. Pump it. Oh. Oh. Like, it's a nice time. Like, it's just a good time. I feel like this game... Oh, it worked. It's getting weaker, so I do it again. Okay. Um, it kind of feels like it's something to do, you know? And the something you're doing isn't like crazy compelling or even super unique, but it's it it can be nice. Should time slip to close the distance. Oh wait, I have to use a time slip? Do I have to? Oh no, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe at the end I have to use it. Oh time. Okay, hold on. Oh, okay. Like, there's something satisfying about this loop here. I feel like I would this I would die immediately. <laughs> oh, on the board, you mean? Like the little um Am I doing this right? Maybe I'm not doing this right. I'm actually not sure if I'm doing this correctly. Maybe I'm missing something. Let me see. Let me here we go. Oh, oh. Oh no. What? Um, did I die? I guess I died. Maybe it's like I, harder each time and I just wasn't going fast enough. You're good, the boss will just have phase I think. Okay, cool. Oh, what? Why am I getting, what? I don't know what I did wrong here. I felt like I was doing great. Um, okay.
Okay. Okay. Okay. Oh, I think I, I landed on the red, I think, is the problem. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's the problem. I keep landing on the middle part, and that's like fire, basically. Okay. Okay. I gotta be careful, because I don't want whatever the equivalent of a game over is here. Come on now. I know I can see you. Come on. There, there you go. Okay. I'm gonna pump it. Oh, it's because it rotates. That's why. Okay. That's fair. Okay. Oh! Oh! Okay. Okay. Pump it. Jump. Oh! 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 Damn it. I keep fucking up that one part. All right, we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. Come on. I know you can see me. All right. Okay, let's go. Let's double jump. Hit it. Jump again. Hit it. Skate on through. Hit it. All right. Oh, oh! Okay. Oh! Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Fuck! Okay, here we go. Okay. There we go. Really nice vi- they, they got nice aesthetics. The aesthetics are down here. I mean, I do think the be the pu right. the pathless boss battles are better. The puzzles are more intricately uh, designed. Uh, uh. No cursing. <laughs> um, I think for me so far in that experience, I liked this boss better than the bosses in the pathless. I found the bosses in the pathless to be kind of like boring and repetitive after like the first two, but I like the puzzles in the pathless. If you could combine the pathless puzzles with the solar ash boss battles. I think the game would probably still critically get the same score, but I'd like it better. Uh, this is the Pathless and Siren Hour Wild Hearts had a baby. I feel like Siren Hour Wild Hearts, though, had like a banger soundtrack. This, to me, and I know some people like it, like I know Kyle said he was really into it. I think the soundtrack is too background music y to be fire. Like, it is an inoffensive soundtrack. Like, it's just kind of there. Um, what is this place? Who are you? Time for this. I have heard that question so many times before. I feel like that could be memed for something, so I'm just gonna screenshot that. Enough. Send me back or get out of my way. I'm not in your way. The only thing standing between you and your precious Darcy are remnants. Remnants of lost hope. Nothing more. That remnant nearly killed me. But I won't let that stop me from saving my people. Yes, yes. You need to fix everything. I'm tired of this. It's just so pretty looking. I know that's like not everything, but it's nice. Some real nice art direction here. Did you like Final Fantasy VII Remake soundtrack? Um, with the new songs? Ooh. You know, I don't remember the soundtrack very much, so I will say that that probably means I wasn't that into it. Um, I just don't really remember anything about it. And I didn't play the original Final Fantasy VII either. Maybe I'll do that at some point. I did... I like the, the combat of Remake, but I'm kind of, like, not a big fan of Final Fantasy VII Remake. Just the story and stuff. Uh, Trophy Hunter. Like, I wasn't into it. And it's weird because it's like, it's so odd to go into a game that has such a strong history that people love so much and it just be totally new hey, because, like. You made it. That's what it is. The Ultra Void is known to have deleterious effects on biotic life forms. And it seems to have had quite an effect on us as well. We spent a very uncomfortable amount of time in safe mode. I'm just glad you're back online. Can you contact the rest of the Void Runners? Hmm. We cannot connect to starseed conduits in any other sectors. Their signals must also be blocked by those of the remnants. Ah, remnants. Yes. If you remove these remnants, our network communication should resume. If the conduits are already set up, 
And the other void runners must have. We hope so too, Ray. We wish we could be more helpful, but our memories appear to be incomplete. All right, Sid. I'll reconnect with the other runners and reactivate your notes. Be careful, Ray. We're in this together. We'll help however we can. How can you help? We have many starseed conduits throughout the Ultra Void. They were placed to collect environmental data and calculate energy frequencies. Conduits also function as teleport pads. How can we help you? Hmm. Certainly. Just want to see what suits I have. Sustained a lot of damage we care for reduces time. Yeah, I like this time slip suit. They look the same though. They look way too similar. Help you. Um can I scan for scan caches. For cache scanning. You have recovered all of the void. How can we help you? Ah, oh yeah, and that's like with the where okay. I'm kind of understanding now. Can you hail the player? I Ray. think that's fine. Thankfully, we can synthesize plasma into new power cells. Hey, plasma drive, Trevor Hunter. Some functionality to your shield. Please, Ray. The ultra void is perilous. Repairing your shields will drastically increase the likelihood of mission success. <laughs> Finished installation. How can we help you? All right, I guess that's cool. Um, yeah, Trevor Hunter. Let's see. No, I'm not. But what's the, what is the platinum look like in this game? I've become one of those people, unfortunately. The new episode of P W L. What is P W L? Let's see. There seems like there's a lot. Complete the game on hardcore mode. No. Nope. Bye. Bye. Oh, play, watch, listen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, PWL. You know, I actually have not, uh, I have not listened to that show yet. There's a couple shows on my radar that I'm like, oh, I hear this is pretty good. And like, I know the people that make it and it seems cool. Um, so yeah, that, 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 that'd be interesting. <laughs> I will say like the amount that NFTs have so quickly like entered the gaming space and it's now like so much of when I'm doing work, it's like, talking about the market with with nfts and the environmental impact and what we think it means for like you know cosmetics and like who doesn't like it who does like it who has it who's taking it out they add this now it's gone it's just it's been a been a lot um the bigger interview is canceled it really does put a damper on the um the joke content that we probably were never going to make anyway but troy baker in review yeah a little, a little bit um not that i think it's like the epitome of evil necessarily either it's just kind of like uh i don't know but it's weird with all of this like uh advancing tech or changes in the tech space like the metaverse all that stuff like gaming's like at the forefront of that for kind of obvious reasons right it's like we're already very much technologically doing things like that uh you know with vr and with um paid cosmetics and um the idea of like it's it's funny because to like non-gamers it's like, oh, like, having, like, a life and identity online, that's crazy. But, well, first of all, like, you know, we already have identities online in the sense of having social media and stuff. But it's like, oh, yeah, like, people have done this forever. Or people were like, oh, here's someone getting married in the metaverse. Like, how many, like, there have been so many virtual weddings <laughs> in games. Um, so, yeah, it's a as this kind of funnels to the mainstream, like, from gaming or looking to gaming, kind of how it works back and forth it's it's kind of wild um i just don't know how they get paid everybody else to do that i mean yeah i mean i think it's a we've seen i don't know how lucrative at this point you know the nft and the and, and the crypto space and all that stuff is like i'm not i'm by no means an expert in it but obviously there's money to be made and we've seen and heard plenty of stories of people making hella money on it um that doesn't mean that that's going to be the end all be all of you know, I think the economy and economic advancement. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm sure there's there's plenty of money to be made in that space. Um, how long term that's going to be, what that actually means, I don't, you know, I don't know yet. I think we're pretty too far too soon, other than just making generalized predictions. You know what? Let's look for. Let's scan this. 
But you know, it's interesting because I was talking to Blessing about it when we were on Games Daily together, and we had talked about how, uh, what game was it? Was it Stalker 2? That had was like, we're gonna do NFTs, and they're like, just kidding, everyone was mad, and we're not gonna do it anymore, my bad. Um, I'm like, when do you think the next gaming NFT like story is gonna hit? And he's like, literally like, tomorrow. Like, literally right now. Um, and he was super right, like, right after, um, plenty of news have, has broken in the new year about uh, NFTs and gaming and, and what that means. And yeah, uh, there's some interesting articles on it um, that I want to dig further into. Uh, Axios is one of my favorite places for news and insights and overviews. L2 to grind on rails. Ooh, I love a good rail grind. Um, and Steven Totilla wrote some cool articles talking about NFTs in the gaming space and the big players are looking to break into it and all this other stuff, so yeah. How does this feel compared to the paths? Compared to the pathless, the feel is quite different, I would say. I think this actually moves a little slower than the pathless. Um, the pathless is a lot about zooping, and you're like pinging together, like you're chaining together the, you know, the arrows and the beams and stuff. Um, this feels like you're a little bit more in control. I will say moments like what just happened here 10 seconds ago, where I sort of am trying to follow this line and I kind of easily lose my place. Makes it feel a little looser, though, than the pathless. Oh. Oh, no, I gotta go back and do that. So, it's less fast. Uh, and I, I'm not sure if I feel more in control or less in control for that reason. I think maybe you're a little bit more in control, because it moves more traditionally, like your average video game would move in terms of, okay, you have a double jump, you can wall climb, you have an attack. Um, while the pathless is a lot about, you're just chaining, and like, that's the whole game. Um, and, you know, shooting arrows, chaining and shooting arrows. Um, the only thing that would be cool is if you can sell your skins, i.e. like if I play Valorant for five years and I'm done with my skins, I can sell them to someone else. Yeah, I mean, I think there are, there are elements of practical impl implementations, but I think it's just, it's very early, um, and again, like, you know, a lot of things have a negative environmental impact that we do, right? Like, people talk about, like, oh, your email has a negative Im environmental impact. But I think in, it just does not feel necessary uh, or productive or super valuable. Um, yeah, for the use case you bring up, I think that's an interesting one. But I wonder, like, if you're done, who else is done? You know what I mean? Like, how, I don't know. Like, I don't, I don't quite see that as having as many implicate not imp not implications i meant implementations right no oh my god i died or i got hit but like with a lot of things I, you know I, I do think there's like a little bit of a little bit of an inevitability i'd be kind of surprised if like nfts left gaming and they never came back and this is just a story we talk about from years ago um just because usually when there's like a new technology it ends up eventually getting adapted, uh, and it's always met with, like, a bit of disdain. Um, the idea of always being online or always having to log in was super unwelcomed initially, but now it's like, okay, well, if you have Game Pass, you're going to have to be online to ping back that you have the service. And you can download the game, so it's not like it's, you know, bad or, or exactly a one-to-one. -one. What does this marker mean? But that digital games, like, a avoid runner sigil. Someone came through here. Okay. What does that mean for me, though? Can I- should I ping it? Let me do my little ping. Does this mean anything? But yeah, we will see. If I had to bet money on it, I would say that NFTs and gaming are gonna be a thing. Like, I would be kind of surprised if this just fell apart and didn't end up happening ever, but... Yeah, we'll see. Because I think about, too, like, the history of, um, even just paid cosmetics, right? Like, what was it? Was it Red Dead or what game? Like, had, like, $10, $10 for some horse skin or something? And that that was crazy at the time, and now it's, like, the most normal thing ever. Oh. There we go. This is what I'm trying to do. This is what I'm trying to do. Boom. Okay. I don't even know this is where I need to go. This is going to seem pretty chill. Yeah, like, it's, uh, you know, um, Blessing and Others definitely categorized it as, like, a podcast game. Like... I like this as something to do. I'm not like in love with what I'm doing though. I don't feel like crazy compelled by anything. So, um, 
this is like something I'd very lightly recommend, or I'd, I'd more I wouldn't recommend it, but I'd say like check it out if you like are of, if it's of interest to you. You know, if you see this and you're like, I'd want to do this, I want to zoop around and stuff. Yeah, sure, give it give it a go. I, I do love the freeze time. I love any game where I can freeze time a little bit. Whoa! Oh! 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 Oh, I hate how easy it is for you to die, though. Or to get hurt. I mean, you have these shields you can pick up along the way, but... Um... Yeah, it's an okay time. I could see myself beating this just because I think it is fair... I feel like it's fairly short. I feel like it's not... It's not that, um... Let's see, how long to beat Solar Ash? I was gonna look up the path list. Five hours? That sounds like a game I would beat. I like the colors of the game list. Yeah, I think the vibe is cool. I could see me, like... Again, I'm not really a, actually a big fan of the soundtrack that they have, just because it's very backgroundy to me. Okay, hold on, let's interact with this. So this is one of the other Void Runners came through here. And last time we got like a suit. I don't know if we get a suit every time we interact with these, but... Okay. Okay, then we just climb up this thing. I love the little freeze time zoop thing that I can do. Um, let's see. Yeah, I picked up and put down this game over about two weeks before I finished it because I, I never felt like super compelled to sit down and finish it. But I had a pretty good time while I was playing it. And eventually, it was just there was sort of stuff happening. Wasn't super compelled. Took me a few days to beat the gunk. I only played it like an hour each day though. Yeah, the gunk's another one that's like, these aren't like banger experiences, but it can be a good time. Like not every thing has to be like crazy fire for it to be um, of value. I am gonna restart this because I moved so slow during this. I just wasn't sure what was happening. Okay, let me, let me retry this. Oh God, I'm still moving really slow. Where's the next one? Why is it, why is it around here? Oh, where's the next one? Oh God, this isn't gonna work out. Where is it? I don't even know where that other one was, but. And am I supposed to use like this, that R1 there? Okay. Oh, it's like around this way. Oh God, oh God, oh God, okay. Like, I probably will finish this, like, off stream, you know, we're, we're kind of taste testing it right now. I probably will finish this off stream and then just, like, throw on some, what some music and, and just have a good time skating around. Oh. Yeah. Um, that's sort of my vibe with this right now. Oh, fun. I like the sound design, like the, the, the goosh sound. It's like kind of gross, but like in a good way. All right, where, where else can we go? Uh, we have something evil here, maybe? Oh! Oh, okay, good enough. Good enough. Yeah. I guess we'll go over this way. Or does this have like a photo mode or anything? I'm kind of surprised that there's not like something for that. Seems like a good game for a photo mode. All right. Gonna adjust this stuff. Okay, what, what time, where are we at for time? We've got like about an hour before we'll switch over games. Ooh, okay. Be able to time slip to attack these creatures from a distance. Really? Okay. Oh! Okay, good, good, good. Good job. The ooze sploosh. I get it. Although that sounds inappropriate. <laughs> Look, it's like a, it's like a secret of the ooze type thing, you know, like a, or like a slime. Okay, here we go. 
Here we go. I think this mechanic, like this like zooping mechanic, is what's most like the pathless. Oh god, no 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 nope. There we go. Alright, let me get some my little shield or something. Okay, great. I am worried about like how detrimental it will be for my life if I just fall during all this. But the idea of having to climb back up is highly unappealing to me. Um, so I'm a little bit worried about that. Okay. They don't make you do too much stuff too quickly, though. So I think that's pretty good. All right. And then we got another checkpoint. Oh. Yeah, this is, this is very solid. I'm, I'm enjoying my time here. It's not like a banger. It probably wouldn't make it to like, you know, we have PlayStation picks on um, PS I Love You with, um, oops, like our favorite like indies. Like I personally wouldn't put that on there while I did put the paths on there. So I guess I like the paths more than this, but they are kind of in that range of good, not great. The greatness is sort of debatable. Oh, like jelly beans. Oh, a little like, um, you know, actually, you know what the goop reminds me of? The little pink like goop that's floating around. It reminds me of um, also Vision 490. Thanks for the follow as well as Saint Tabor or. S yeah, Saint Tabor or Saint Tiabor. I'm not sure. Um, What was I going to say? Um, It reminds me of like in Metroid. The little like Metroids that would like float around and then like attach to you in fusion. Spoilers for fusion. They remind me of that. Okay. I don't know if I can just jump out of this window. That doesn't seem like that'd be the thing they want me to do, but... Uh, Heavenly Bad is going to be interesting. I like the game overall, uh, but it is pure distilled aggravation. <laughs> now I'm scared. Uh, I'll be playing that with Isaiah, so hopefully... Hopefully we like it. I mean, if we don't, it's just another game that we're not going to play together, you know, I guess, but... Um, we're looking for another two-player game, so I'm curious as to how it's gonna go. The more I watch this game, the more I want to get it. On honestly, if you're looking at this, hold on, let me hear this cutscene. Are you okay? What happened? I did it to protect them. I'm sure you did whatever you could. Oh, uh, who's there? I just need to find him. I need him to forgive me. Look, I don't have any headspace here. Here we go. Okay, let's see what's going on. Side quest vibes. What are you looking for? He's okay. Safe. Just hiding. Maybe in a... She's too far gone. Maybe whoever she's looking for can tell me more about what happened. Oh, okay. Have you seen any void Have runners? Any void runners? Anyone who looks like me. Runners? You can't run from them. I thought it was the only way to save us. I'm sorry. This person is going through it. Let's just leave. Like, I don't know what happened. What is Heavenly Bodies? Never heard of it. Um, it is something... Oh, yeah, there we go. Um, it got on my radar, uh, maybe like a few months ago. It is on PlayStation. I think it's also on PC. It's also on PC. It's on Steam. I'm not sure if it's on any other platforms, but it is, um, essentially like a co-op puzzle solving game. Let me see what they, how they describe it. And you're in space. Um, let's see, Heavenly Bodies. Heavenly Bodies. A game about cosmonauts, the body, and the absence of gravity. Discover the ever-changing nuances of weightless motion in this challenging physics game. So I am a little bit nervous about how wonky the physics gets. It's co-op in space. I'm wondering how co-op-y it's gonna be. Now, I love co-op, actually. Co-op is great, and so is the co-op clone Clop, which is Quop, but you're a horse. Fantastic, uh, fantastic title. But on the whole, I'm not a big fan of wonky physics. Now, I do like Overcooked, which some people would argue has wonky physics. I would say, I honestly describe Overcooked as more being slippery than wonky. Yo, Laura K. Buzz out here with a raid at a party of 45. What's good, Laura? Uh, someone tossed that shot out to Laura, who's out there gaming, doing, doing the good work, having a good time. This is, um... Ooh, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Shang Pearl. What is your hype level for Arceus? Coming out in just two weeks, I think. Two weeks from today. 
Um, what's up, what's up? Uh, my name is Janet, aka Game Honestus. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. Uh, I stream on Fridays and Saturdays at 3 p.m. PT. Uh, every Friday, it's best of 2022 watch. We play the latest games in search of the greatest games. And on Saturday, I do a let's play. Sometimes it's community pick. Sometimes it's just what I want to get through. Um, and that's what's going on. Occasionally, I'll do some bonus streams as well. But those are the two main staples of the stream. Um, other things, other things. Right now we're playing Solar Ash. This is a game that came out late 2021, because you already know when it's the beginning of the year, like, there's not a lot of stuff coming out. Um, next week there's Nobody Saves the World. After that it's Pokemon, so it starts rolling. It doesn't really quite stop after that. Um, but just as these kind of calmer, quieter weeks, uh, we're hitting up the stuff we missed in December, because December flew by and, you know, a lot of people went on break and things. I'm really excited. The recent 15 minute trailer gave me really good vibes about the mechanics being my jam. I'm excited too. If you're, you're, sorry, if you've played Getting Over It, then understand how aggravating the Heavenly Bot- I have not played Getting Over It, so I'm not sure. We'll find out. We'll find out how it's gonna go. Um, if it's really terrible, we can always pivot. Um, but this part of, you know, I, I saw it, I was interested. Uh, I'm always looking for co-op games to play. Uh, God, is it- Oh, Jesus! It's like, I, I was supposed to do like R2 or something to zoop on that. Um, looking for co-op games to play with Isaiah, so we'll see. Um, I think the last game we really both loved was, um... It's also a PlayStation game, what was it called? Operation Tango, we both were really into that and we had a blast playing that together. Um, other than that, um... I don't know that there was, if there's a game after that that we both really liked playing together. Like right now we're playing uh, Kiwi, which I like that game a lot and I'm having fun with it. And Isaiah likes it too, but I don't think he likes it quite as much as I do. So I feel like it wasn't like a banger for us or anything. Broken capital. Interference trophy hunter. I can't believe they have hard difficulty as one of the trophies for the platinum. Hard difficulty should be banned from all trophy lists moving forward. Keep that shit on the PS3. We don't need it here. PS3, PS4 vibes. Nope. Um, yeah, why not scan for them? Okay, uh, I think we'll leave it that. So, you know, it's not R2 to do that. The Last of Us remaster flashbacks. Wait, what? Um, been putting gift cards I earned through Xbox Awards towards Arceus. Um, so I got it down to $40. Nice. I have not looked into, I guess, Xbox Rewards. Oh, for the difficulty? Oh, yes. 100%. 100%. Oh, God. Fell. Fell really bad. I'm going to try to go back up here because I feel like I'm missing some stuff. Also, I'm kind of curious what's going on here. There's like a little note. I, this is my least favorite moment in games when like you can't there we go when you just can't get the icon to appear page is torn from a journal the temple priest is saying there are too many stars in the sky. I just did grounded to get everything um yeah it's fair the sniper section can go to hell the only games that get me to do the difficult trophies is mass effect the stars seem to get bigger every night and they grow up and pay I like them okay cute this is also just like the pathless. Like the way they're doing store like environmental storytelling is very pathless. And they're both Annapurna games, so I don't know. Maybe no one knows they were like very similar games. Maybe they didn't care. Maybe it was fine. Again, not a bad thing. Plenty of games are like other games. I do think this game's different enough that it doesn't feel like, oh, this is just a different version of the pathless. See, like, it's stuff like this, like, I think precision in the skating is a little slippery. You know what this area kind of reminds me of, though? And again, the path is structured the same way. Um, <laughs> Bowser's Inside Fear, Bowser's in Inside Story, Inside Fury. Bowser's Fury is what it's called. I mixed that up with Bowser's Inside Story. But just the way there's, like, these different areas that you're kind of going to, and it's, like, this connected world, and it's not really open, but, like, it kind of has, like, a lot going on. Ooh. I'm not a fan of, like, how you take damage in this game, personally. Like, you're made of paper, I feel like. 
I do love being on rails. Rails are super fun. Interesting. Um, the Pathless and Forspoken. Yes, that, that is what appeals to me about Forspoken. Um, the, tra the way traversal and movement looks in that game is just generally what I enjoy in games like this. Um, oh, I got bopped, destroyed. Um, and I like the um, abilities that I see in Forspoken as well. Like the sort of um, supernatural, magical. I'm not really sure how you'd want to couch those, but God, those seem really cool too. Without a shield, it's just like you're one hit away. It's kind of a pain. But I don't feel like buying the shield right now is the thing. Oh god. Oh man, another one. Okay, no, dead, dead. Good. Good. Alright. Here we go. Just get in the way. Oh god! Oh, I'm too far away. Oh! I didn't know it was. I didn't know that they were... I, like, didn't know I had to do more than that level of hits. Okay, I'm starting to get the combat down. We're gonna figure it out. We're gonna be, like, the ultimate... God, Void Runner, right? Do 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 do, do, do. Oh god. It's like the way that you get fried, the way you like land back. Okay, jeez. Alright, that was a lot. That was kind of a pain. Okay. I'm like really worried I'm gonna die, so I'm trying to be careful. I wonder if this is this like main path, critical path. Okay, let's boom. Okay. All right, all right. Finally, another like shield, because you end up being just so weak that. I'm too far away, I guess, to do that. Another shield would be appreciated. Okay. All right, I'm guessing we're gonna go on these rails. I'm still wondering if downstairs I'm missing something, but let's just go with it. Oh, it's L2. Rails are one of the most satisfying things in games alongside um, that very PS2 design moment where you're like sliding down a surface. Like it happened in, you know, it happened a bunch in platformers like Jack and Daxter, but it happened in um, Jedi Fallen Order as well and a few other games. Always love sliding down a surface. Always a fun time. Um, Clint says, haven't been able to catch a stream in ages. Loved the KF game of the year. Gamescast, by the way. Loves your reaction to Life is Strange time with Halo. <laughs> yeah. Um, I had a lot of fun with that show, with that episode. Um, go watch it if you haven't already. It's on YouTube. It's on podcast stuff. Um, I think it was a really good episode. And honestly, it might be my favorite year to, way to do uh, game of the year conversations, I think. Because, um, like, there's definitely a lot of fun and value in creating like a great debate about something and you know we weren't able to highlight we don't highlight inherently as many games as like other um outlets might based on how they do their game of the year stuff but there was something so exciting about not knowing what the results were going to be and kind of finding out with everybody listening and watching um yeah I, and i think barrett killed it with like the assets and the way he like ran the show um yeah it was it was really good i i, I thought it was really well done Obviously, I'm biased in that I was involved in it, but straight up. Oh, God. Trophy Hunter, though. Oh, dead. Dead Trophy Hunter. Uh, destroyed. 
Barrett was amazing. He did such a good job. Yeah, send, please go send props to Barrett because Barrett's always like working his ass off and I'm sure he will never hear enough props for what he does. So just send him some if you have them. Okay. If you feel so inclined, I'm sure he'd appreciate it. All right. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm still mad they have a difficulty trophy. Why would you? Because I'm not playing this game again. I think once is, this is a good one and done vibe over here. Okay. Okay. There we go. Yeah, it's like a it's a very much like a chill, like we're just here vibing type experience. Like I'm here to see what there is to see. Oh, okay, there we go. Let's take a second. Uh, is it a difficulty that's only unlocked? Is they're beating it? I hate. It. I think it probably is. Let me look at the settings because I haven't actually checked. Yeah, un unlocked um, by completing the game on any difficulty. Like, I'm playing on standard difficulty. There's novice, standard, challenge, and hardcore. Like, I believe that one is challenge. Is, uh, so let's look at it real quick. Um... Yeah, complete the game on hardcore mode. Like, why? Like... No, you don't- you didn't need to do that. You could have just done nothing and it would have been... fine. And there's a speedrunner one, complete the game in under three hours. You know, you're- you're doing too much. You're asking me to, like, live in this game and I don't want to do that. Well, for me, the thing is, too, like, I don't like- Oh, jeez. I don't like trophies where I have to, like, repeat things I've already done. Um, in, like... To the entirety, too, is a thing. That's my beef. Okay, that's one. Oh god, oh god. Oh no! Okay, we gotta figure something out. No, speedrun as well. Exactly! Like, pick- you pick one! You gotta pick one. You can't do both. That's too much. That's okay. I'm still gonna- I still plan on being this, I think. Though I will say this is definitely a game where it's like, I'm beating it just to beat it. Like, just for the vibes. Woo! And not that it's bad or anything, or that I'm not having fun with it, but I'm like, not in love. Like, there's- I think there's other games I would like more, and have more fun with. Um... Than Solar Ash, but like... It's short enough, I like it enough, that I'm like, yeah, sure, why not? We'll go spend some time with this. Okay. All right, we got to figure out what we're doing wrong here. We gotta, we gotta get better. Okay, Jesus. Oh, what is up with this? Okay. Or do neither. <laughs> exactly. Speedrun trophy should just be on the DLC. Yeah, that's what I'm. I'm of that mind too. Like, if you want to do like a crazy DLC trophy, that's fine. Like, for Horizon Zero Dawn to get the um. Like, to get... There's, like, another Platinum you can get, like, on New Game Plus, where it's like, oh, do New Game Plus and also do beat the game on the hardest difficulty, like, Ultra or some shit. But that's, like, you don't need that for the standard Platinum, so... That's cool. Okay. Which I was really happy about. Like, I got that Platinum and it was super fun and I had a blast getting it. Okay, I'm not gonna be able to do this. Nope. What am I doing wrong? I guess I have to... Let's try to go the other direction first. Okay. Oh! We still can't do it. Something's not right. Obviously, they had to design it in a way where you can do it. I don't think it's because I just don't have a shield. Though the shield would help, because I could probably cheese my way to the end. Okay, let's see. Um, well, first of all, let me kill this guy, because I don't need him here. Creating all this extra pressure. Or maybe I do need him there. Maybe he's there for that reason. Wait. Okay, I think I figured it out. Oh, but also... Oh, it didn't matter. I didn't need him. I didn't need him. I did it anyway. Boom. Resident Evil was the only franchise I don't mind the speedrun achievement. 
yeah like i mean i could see that and you love resident evil and you're like resident evil pro speedrunner so i feel like you're biased because you're good at the game <laughs> you're too good at the which also you know what's funny <laughs> just a quick like insight into the industry and obviously there are people saying dumb shit all the time on on al gore's internet but literally um like there will be people who will say like oh you're not qualified enough to do this review or to comment on this game because you like don't know the franchise which while i think that is a i don't agree with that perspective that at least makes a little bit more sense there are also people who will say oh you like this too much like you can't you're you're you you know it too well so you're not a good person to go to and i'm like what is what is the logic here what is going on here what's up lady hulk how's it going good to see i love the popcorn uh emote very cute What is the logic here? You're too qualified. We need the com we need a commoner to talk about it. And it's funny too, like just that idea too of like criti criticism or content. Like I know there are people who will be like, oh, I don't like formal critics. Like they're too they're not like the common man or whatever. Like I, I prefer my stuff on YouTube or whatever. And this is no shade to YouTube reviewers, because I love the content on YouTube. The gaming content on YouTube is fantastic. And there's some really insightful people making content. Um, but I think it's funny that they'll, like, see a YouTuber as, like, the common gamer. Like, if you're making content, you're already, like, a certain kind of gamer or content creator or critic. Like, you're not going to be, like, an average person because you don't interact with games in an average way, which is fine. That comes with doing the content. But, like, there is no such thing as, like, that w that person ceases to be the average Joe gamer once they start making content. Like, you know? Gamers are never happy. That is true. Uh, we're an unhappy group. Um... Gamers are never happy and critics are anxious and depressed. Like, that is what I've learned <laughs> in my time in this industry. I don't know what it is about. I don't know if it's like we were, we were like that, the job mix is that way. If it's like, this is, we just like spending time in worlds. I don't know. <laughs> A money, what's good? Uh, or Mooney, I'm not sure. But thanks for the follow. The mad gamer, I think with the mad gamer, he's very mad. Um, let's drop down here and see what's happening. I do really like the art here. There's some nice art. Love some nice art. You love to see nice art. Come in. You got a friend here? I don't read you. Come in. This is Lyris, where the clock tower candle flies. Everything's in for Lyris, is it? There's no What did I tell you about leaving your post? Can't let them triangulate our position before the big light show. Hey, where's my post? Right, my post. Um, where is that again? The apartments, two blocks north of here. Or were you on the scouting mission to the Dross Hive? I don't think she knows she's in the Ultra Void. Oh, so we have a journal here. I find the... Oh, okay. This is where, like, my information is. I'll be honest, I didn't know what what was go like i'm not a big fan of this like the map not the map well like i said this is a map but like the map slash like mission the way they relay mission information to you is not my favorite um you know i'm just gonna keep vibing like they have these little directions here but like let's just go where the where the road leads us and then if we feel like really lost we'll start to make a more targeted effort or something Okay, that looks like a good place to go, but how do I get there? Um, I think we can climb up a couple things. Ooh, I'm so high up. I don't want to have to lose all this progress, but... There's some goo here that I didn't get. Ooh! Oh. Just kidding, I did not land on the right spot. Oh, God! How do I get up there? Oh, here we go. Now I see, now I see. Fun. Let's take some of these shields. Here we go. Alright, um, oh, jeez. Okay, well, we fell again. This is something. There's actually a couple things going on here, but let's start with this. This is very clearly new. Uh, Cherry Stymic, or Stemic, thank you for the sub. Appreciate it. Oh, actually, Palinus. 
uh, out here gifting uh, five subs in the community. Holy cow, hitting our dailies out here. Uh, gifting subs to Cherry Stomach, uh, Mag oh, Magaglong, Batman49, Snug Slacks, great name, and Fleminem, I think is the name, 625, another really good name. Thank you so much for those gifteds uh, and for all those subs going out. Uh, enjoy those tier one emotes. We got emotes of the, the whole crew here that appears in the stream fairly regularly. Just kidding, hold on, let me try to find the... This thing was too small for me to show these off. So we got um, boyfriend Janet, uh, sister-in-law Janet, brother Janet, me, and Bruce at that tier one. And there they go! Uh, and Isaiah will be here uh, later on stream in about 30 minutes or so. Uh, we'll take a little break, we'll take our intermission break, and then he'll come through. Um, no idea what to expect from Heavenly Bodies. A little scared, honestly. <laughs> I'm a little worried that we're gonna hate it, but... Oh god, god. Oh my god. Oh! That did not go the way I wanted it to go. All right. Do you think the PlayStation Game Pass will allow you to play day one? No. I think games like Returnal will, f ne will find a bigger audience. I don't think we'll see... I think we'll see very little day one. I think the day one stuff we'll see will feel like not that groundbreaking, you know? Like bug snacks day one, maybe, sure, you know? I think one fun thing would be um, free DLC could be really cool. I know Nintendo is doing that a little bit. Which, granted, Nintendo's doing... I, I don't really want anyone replicating most of what Nintendo's doing, especially with online. Um, but I do think there's um, some merit to, like, free DLC. I think that could be really appealing. Um, so I'd love to see something like that, at least. Like, just extra incentives. Like, I want to feel like... Okay. What I want to get out of PlayStation's Game Pass is, like... Feeling like I'm getting value and also feeling like a little bit special. Like if y'all had AMC stubs or AMC A-list, you know, when you would sit down in the theater, they're like, and a special thanks to you. And before I had A-list, I always felt like a broke bitch when I was like, damn, I want my special thanks. Like I want to get an a special thanks to you. Like vibes from, <laughs> from this thing, you know? I want the free refills on my sodas. I want the large popcorn. Network interference detected. Like, I want to feel, I want this to feel luxurious, you know? Because 70 euros hurts my soul. <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, I feel that. Games are only getting more expensive. Again, you could argue, like, to some degree, maybe they should have been raised even sooner, because, you know, they are expensive to make and blah, blah. But yeah, $70 is a lot for a lot of people. Um, slash, I feel like 70 dollars, euros, however you want to slice it, it's high enough that you gotta you gotta think about it a little bit, right? Like it should probably give you some pause. Um, hey, if it doesn't, maybe that means you're just doing super well financially. And like, shout out to to you and have having that option. Um, but yeah, it, it can get very expensive very quick. Um, it's an expensive hobby. It's like it is hard to think of a hobby that is more expensive than gaming. Um, I can't really think of one. Maybe like certain extreme sports or something, right? Like, for the equipment. But even then, once you buy it, you're usually pretty much set. More like a year after launch. Uh, that VIP treatment. Free LC. <laughs> Free LC, yes, oh my god. That'd be so cool. Um, something I also, if I could, like, you know, write in my dream journal for my realistic-y, it's semi-realistic dream journal for PlayStation's Game Pass. I definitely don't want to pay for these fucking upgrades anymore. Like, and I know some of them are free. Like, I think the Uncharted one is free. But, like, I don't want... I just... I, I don't want to pay for these these upgrades anymore. I don't even want it to be a question. At least if I'm on the, um... PlayStation Plus Plus, as I'm calling it. Like, don't have me on PlayStation Plus Plus and I'm out here dropping 10 coin on, you know, 10 bucks on Death Stranding Director's Cut. Why? You know? The, the, no. No. Is Uncharted ten dollars? I thought it was free. I have this conversation and argument every every time we mention Uncharted on like PS I love you. I cannot remember. Um so if you know for sure, you know, I'll I'll kinda take your word for it because I just do not remember what the situation is with Uncharted. Um I thought really, I thought it was free. I thought this one was the first, like one of the few free ones. Ten dollars if you already have Uncharted for, and I think that okay. I think the conversation is that goes for physical and digital, right? But like mm, stuff like that. I also don't want. I don't want to see any more petty shit. Another petty thing 
that I saw with um, upgrades was like, oh, if you had, I forgot what game it was. Y'all can remind me because you probably remember more than me. But like if you had like Ghost of Tsushima or some game, no, if you had Final Fantasy VII Remake, but you got it through PS Plus, you couldn't just pay for like the simple upgrade to like the PS5 version and integrate, which I, I just feel like it's such a slap in the face to PS Plus to the users because it's like, Oh, well, like, you didn't really pay for it, though. It's like, you gave it to me. You gave me a gift, and then you were like, oh, like, you shamed me for the gift you gave me. Like, I feel like it's such a bullshit. Um, like, I didn't like that at all. And I'm someone that actually already had Final Fantasy VII Remake, right? Like, it didn't affect me, but I just thought it was... It was just petty. Like, again, I am all for, you know, paying people and, and paying for people's work, but the reality of it is there's always going to be a certain expectation of like what we should and shouldn't have to pay for and the reality is at this point especially with what xbox is doing there is a feeling that we should not have to pay for these upgrades um and we can argue that that you know how right or wrong that is but that is kind of what the standard has ended up becoming and now it just feels like oh playstation is being petty as a result even if it is warranted in the sense of like yeah these things cost money to make and like all these other things this that and the third Come on, give me the thing. There we go. Bam, 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 bam. Okay, cool. And then we're gonna float around. And then give me the thing. Okay, where's the R1? Where's R1? Bam, 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 bam. Swap, swap. Actually, this was an idea I had for a channel point redemption. Where I just do the sound design for the games. Um, I don't know if that'd be, like, too much into, like, ASMR content. Because, like, that freaks people out sometimes. I guess I could just not commit as heavily to it. But I feel like that would be fun. Um, pages torn from a journal. There's an unsettling sound of creaking and groaning all throughout the city. And the tremors will not stop. I'm going to the temple to check on the old priests. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Also, now we hit our dailies. Let's swap over to the total sub goal that we have. I want to make that more, like, visually fun, though. Or like maybe put like a different emoji or something next to it. Cool. These are the notes. These are the notes we saw. Here we go. Okay. Oh god, okay. Ooh! Ooh! Oh my god, I thought I was gonna miss it. I was gonna be so upset. Okay. So far, this is going pretty smoothly. Like, I haven't really gotten lost. Like, I feel like I'm still doing stuff. Uh, Brave Aether says, oh, and happy very belated birthday. Thank you. Uh, it was my birthday on January 10th. I turned 28. Um, yeah, it was cool. I had a good time. I really got some good rest in, which is kind of difficult for me to do. Like, I'm notoriously bad at resting. Look at how cool this looks. We haven't get the 10 second fall achievement or something. Two years before you turn dust. I know. I'm excited for turning 30, to be honest. Um, it's like such a such a nice milestone. Um, because with 28, like it's fun, you know. But it's hard to angle it in an interesting way. Like I like to think of like fun things to celebrate around my birthday. So like you know, some of the birthdays take care of themselves, right? Sweet 15th, you could be your quinceanera. Sweet 16, um, 17 isn't anything. 17, 17 is boring. 18, it's like oh, you're legally an adult. Um, 19 is also kind of dry. I guess you could say it's the end of your teenage years. 20 also sucks. You're just not 21. It's just whack. Uh, 21. Okay, you can legally drink. Um, 22. I didn't really have anything too fun for it. Um, I think I had, yeah, I don't think I had anything too fun for 22. Maybe first full year where you could legally drink. I don't know. Like, that doesn't make sense because of how math works. 22, I don't think I had a good angle. If you're a Taylor Swift fan, you could do the uh, I'm feeling 22 vibes for it. 23, I was like, that's the Jordan year. 24, I don't think I had anything for it. 25 was fun because I was like quarter century. Quarter century on Earth. That was my angle. Um, 26, 7, and 8, I've really not had much to say about those ages. 29 will be the last year of my 20s, but I feel like that inherently sounds negative. So I don't know if I want to angle it that way because it just sounds like I don't feel negatively necessarily about it, but it sounds negative. Yeah, I'm Jordan. Yeah, um, I just turned 30. I've been feeling it. 
or like feeling like good or like you've been like in your feels about it. Uh, I fully got a lot of music mileage from that Miss Taylor Swift song on 22. Yes, honestly, if you fuck with that song, you're good. You're set for 22. You got your whole soundtrack ready to go. Um, some of them, something I want to look forward to is more like songs that say the age, but that can be hard to find. I'm 32 and your 30 is legitimately the best years. You're old enough to... Okay, I was going to make that same comment, Brave. Uh, old enough to be entirely independent. You know what you like and don't. And you, at least to some extent, have the means to get what you want. Yes, like... What's fun about your 20s is it's your first time being any form of an adult. But I think the 30s is going to be cool because it's the first time that you're an adult, no asterisks, right? You can legally drink. You can legally rent cars. You can do all this stuff. You've already lived as an adult for a while. Um, so, yeah, I, I'm looking forward to it in that sense. Um, I think that's like a cool aspect of it. Um, and I'm excited about it, too, because I have a 30 for 30 goal where I want to run 30 races in my 20s. I think I've ran, like, 23 or something so far. This is an informal cease and desist. Referring to your 30s as dust is a proprietary joke of Play It Forward Limited. You know, it was only a matter of time until we received a strike on the stream. So I, you know, this was, this is just part of it, right? 30 is definitely better than 20s for me. Yeah, like, I think... The 20s is fun. Like, I've been enjoying my 20s fine, but it is a lot of, um... <laughs> there's a lot of chaos. I mean, admittedly, I don't think I'm gonna be like, oh, I have my whole life together at 30. Maybe I will feel that way? That that sounds nice. <laughs> It'd be a nice change of pace um, from everything else that's come before. Well, oh, no! There's gotta be a way to do that. So we're gonna go try that again. Um... But yeah, like 20s is kind of chaotic, right? You go from being in, for me in college, if you if you went a traditional route and went to college, uh, the expected years. Like you went from that to like, and then it was crazy too, cause like that pandemic happened, like that was a weird moment, that's still going on. Don't let Eddie fool you. He didn't come up with the 30s is dust joke. Someone who was watching his channel did. Yeah, that tends to, you know, Eddie does uh, enjoy a good, a good fool. Maybe this isn't what I'm supposed to do here. I don't know. I'm going to try it like one more time and then I'm going to give up from it. Because let's look at it from a the different angle. I feel like that's what you got to do. Yeah, I don't know. Much like that child cannibalism, huh? You know, I don't know why you feel the need to deceive is a thing. Like you just like to confuse people for confusion's sake. Okay. Also, I enjoyed your joke about the pozole with Greg Miller, because I know he's like, what the, I don't know what the fuck this motherfucker is talking about. <laughs> uh, the moment has passed. I haven't even thought, I haven't even gone to my graduation, the moment has passed. Yeah, I mean, I hate being 23. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> at 23, let me think. How did I feel at 23? Feel free to sound off in chat and how you felt at different ages, if you're, if you're comfortable and interested in sharing. Uh, 23? 23 was like a, a rough time for me because I really, I remember when I turned 23 very vividly because I had my Jordan jersey on. Again, I, I commit to the theme. I said I'd only try this like one more time, but I'm com I am I feel like I can do this and that this is what I need to do. Um, I remember turning 23 and I had a fun birthday. Um, I went to, God, okay, I think if I fall and I do the jump at the last second, I can get it. I went to a barcade. This is obviously a very pre-pandemic. This was like, what, five, six years ago? six, seven, eight, nine, five years ago, right? That's how math works. Um, at, before I turned 23, I had just gotten a job as a substitute teacher um, within a network. So that means that like the way that works is you're a sub for like whatever network from, in my case, it was charter schools of Chicago. And um, yes, we got it. Um, so I had just started as a substitute teacher. Um, for reference, I have a degree in education. Why I wasn't teaching full time was simply because I got like laid off from my first teaching gig and then I had to just kind of float for a year. Um, and um, let's let this audio thing play. And I'll set the scene for my chaotic 23 year. I was wrong. Nothing survives this place. Except there is one lost soul. A Veruki woman wandering glassy eyed among the dead. The horrors that befell I was her as off camera. to have happened before her planet was pulled into the ultra void. Makes me wonder, is this place just a natural disaster? 
Or does it attract death? All oh, this sorrow, it's like a calling. All right, I'm just gonna cut it short because I'll be honest, like the lore just doesn't really have me that intrigued. We got this Irving, we'll do our part. So we got a, a suit piece at least. Um, I am, I am having fun with this though. It, it's very chill, just kind of going around doing things. Uh, Mojo the Almighty, thank you for the follow. Fantastic name as well. Um, yeah, so I had gotten that job, substitute teaching, but before that I was working at GameStop. Um, and it, that was my first like retail job ever. I really just wanted a way to get a little bit of money because I just I went from having like a pretty well paying a, a decent paying job not not really that well because it was charter and education um but you know enough to like make a living and and live my life to I have no money um let me just work at GameStop because hey it's in games right like I kind of have an interest in that so let's do that I guess and it was awful it was part-time um well pay-wise the experience itself was actually kind of fine um but I was a seasonal worker there until I could like just find something else. And honestly, if I could go back in time, I wouldn't have worked there at all because I was making so little money that literally commuting to work was almost my whole paycheck because like the commute there was like maybe like five bucks, maybe like five to seven bucks or something. And I only made like eight dollars an hour or seven something an hour because it was right outside the city of Chicago. So I didn't get Chicago minimum wage. I got like whatever this area outside of Chicago gets. Um, so yeah, it was just bad times were had, you know? Woof, no, no, let me come back. Okay, um, I'm gonna go back that way just to get the goo and then maybe we'll check this section. I don't know. I feel like I came here already before. Yeah, I did come here before. Okay, so we'll see where to go next. Let's look at this. And I remember turning 23 and being like, please don't like, as I was like trying to look for other work, you know, while working at GameStop, I was like, God, please don't let me turn 23 while I'm working at GameStop. And that's not, that's no shade or like to shame anyone who's like maybe at a job they don't like or in a lower position or just feeling stuck or whatever at, at that age. But that's kind of where I was at. And like that subbing job, um, you know, it paid decent. Like it was more money than I was making at GameStop, but less than I was making lead teaching, obviously. Um, and it was its own kind of hell too. So I definitely wasn't like, oh wow like I really came up or anything like that it was just better than what I had and it was a step in the right direction because it was related to my career which at the time I was still interested in pursuing some stuff in education and seeing how I like that but yeah that was what I remember being really thankful for like at least I'm not a GameStop anymore <laughs> the slack noises I know um yeah man people out here doing work and shit on a Friday can you believe um I can't easily open and mute slack with how I have my stuff set up right now. So I'm like, oh, we're just gonna deal with it. Um, but yeah, so 23 was definitely difficult. Um, life absolutely was not what I had expected it to be. I had thought I would graduate college and immediately get a job teaching and be lead teaching for that year. And it looked like that was gonna be my year and then it just wasn't. So yeah, man, like the first year out of college, and again, I don't actually know if you, I think you did mention that you went to college because I think you mentioned graduation and stuff. Like the first year out of college very has a very high percentage chance of kicking your ass really bad. Um, and yeah, man, it was just, it was really difficult. I had a really tough time that first year. Um, but yeah, that was, that was 23. Um, after that, like that summer slash fall, I had gotten a job lead teaching. So then I was making good money. I was in my field, end up leaving that to do this, you know? So it took a long time for me to like get any type of footing. Um, I didn't settle on what my career really was until, let's see, if I was 23 and just started subbing, that's January. I turned 24 while I was teaching. Until uh, 24, which is still pretty young, I would say. Um, you know, and age is all relative anyway, but that's when I was like, okay, I'm gonna go for this game thing. And that was scary too, because I'm like, if I don't know if I'm gonna make it, maybe no one hires me for a full-time job and then I can't live because I can't afford to keep living this way off freelance because I wasn't making like anything at the time. Um, but I was also working super hard, working harder than I had in my life, making less than I ever had. Um, and yeah, and like that was my life. Um, I was so broke. Like I think I made my first job in games media was a news writing job that required five articles a day, five days a week. So 25 articles a week uh, times four, that's 100 articles a month. And they paid me $500 for 100 articles a month. So I was making 
God, was that like five dollars a day or something off of like hours of work? Um, on top of still trying to find other work, pitching, creating independent content, trying to do like YouTube, trying to have my own Patreon, um, just really trying to do anything to survive. I'm like, I want to be in games media and alive. That was the goal. I had no ambitions beyond that. I had no specialties, no specific desires. I'm like, please just let me make enough money to live while I'm in games to some capacity. And I was looking at everything at the time, like PR, community management. I'm like, games and and food, please. <laughs> that was really the vibes uh, at the time. And yeah, it was, it was so hard and I really, if it wasn't for my brother, I would have just gave up on it. Not only was he financially a help, because again, I was making $500 a month consistently. That was my only real consistent income, like a hundred bucks from like a small site here and there. But my rent was six. So it's like, okay, I barely had rent. I put aside nothing for taxes. I had no money for food, essentially. Um, I probably bought no beer. I drank plenty of beer that year, but I didn't buy any of it. Um, my brother did all that. I was like, I just had nothing. And I was working really hard. And I just hadn't, it was, it was a lot of, definitely a lot of fun just being in the field. And I'm just trying to find where I'm going, by the way. If you're wondering why I'm circling around. I'm trying to aim for this 150 marker. But I'm not sure how to get there. It must be in this building, because I keep circling this building. So let's try to enter this. Um, you know, there definitely was a lot of joy in, in being in games media just starting out. Just because, finally, for the first time in my life, I really felt like I loved what I did with no asterisk. With no, like, what if behind it. Um, I love teaching too, and there's a big part of me that wants to incorporate um, education and and teaching and, and working with young people into my current career even. Like, I really do love teaching, but um, I always loved games media more, and that kind of ate at me, you know? And I like, ha I'm like, I have to go for what I really want, because like, you know, what's the alternative? Like doing something that's good enough, but you secretly know that you want something else. It's like, you can, I, I can never lie to myself enough to be okay with that. So I'm like, fuck, we're gonna have to go for this career. And you know, if it doesn't work, maybe it's just a hobby that I do. And, and you know, maybe that's just the reality for me. Um, but I want to try at least. Okay, so these buildings are connected. Let's go into this one. Um, but yeah, like I remember going to my first convention and I was still teaching at the time. I'm just going to beam through this because I don't really care about the lore as much. Oh, so it's here. Okay. And like being at that convention that weekend, talking to people, going to panels, meeting some um, other folks that were making content that I had admired um, was like such a... I, it was so clear to me like what I had to do. You know what I mean? Like, I'm like, this is where my ultimate joy is, you know? Woo. And like, I felt so good that weekend and it sucked to go back to work after that. Again, no, no shade to my kids or the teaching profession. I, I did like it, but I was like, it's so obvious that I have to do this. Um, damn, definitely. That was very insightful. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, I I have many L's that I can share with y'all. Um, it's definitely not been perfect. And even now, like things aren't perfect. Uh, I could, could definitely use more money. Um, and my pay schedule is very freelance. Um, you know, not as hard is not nearly as hard as it was um both in financials and in clout and opportunities like i'm i feel very fortunate to have been able to um hold on hold on hold on Ooh, i want all those chests though that i missed i missed everything like, the fact that i did a full year independent um and granted i work with kind of funny i'm in max so it's not like i'm by myself but like i'm still essentially a freelancer and contractor i did a full year and i lived and it was fine. Like, I was able to, you know, I didn't feel like I was as stressed or pressed as I had in the past. Um, like, that's amazing. Like, I never could have dreamed that I'd be able to do something like that. Um, oh god, oh god, dead, 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 very dead. But yeah, man, life's very, it's, stuff's hard. And like, I promise you, like, you know, for anyone that's out here listening or watching the VOD after the fact, like, it may feel like, oh, everyone else has it together or something. Like, no, they don't. <laughs> like, there's no way. And, like, that's why I like sharing my, like, L's in public a little bit more, just to kind of, like, one, be transparent on what it takes to do the things that I've done, um, slash share the experience, because, you know, everyone has a different one. Uh, but, yeah, but also just to not have anyone think that, like, oh, gosh. No, dead. Very dead, very much dying. Okay. 
that like, oh, it's just easy or like, it's all good or everyone's doing great but me. Like, nah. Like, life's hard. Life's hard for everybody. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, I'm figuring it out. I'm figuring it out. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, do the zoop. Do, do the zoop. Do the time freeze. Where's the next one? Oh my god, why is it so far away? No, we're not gonna make it. Oh no. Oh god, no. Okay, we'll have to reconfigure the order. Um. But yeah, and obviously, I, you know, I, I share it to the degree that I think is appropriate. Because I also, you know, I think there are ways that I could spin my own story as it as I exist as like hard and terrible and horrible. Um, and you know, I, I think venting can have its place, but I try not to get too negative with stuff either. Like, I want to keep it like leaning on the positive, but also like transparent enough that people know that not everything is just magical and perfect all the time. Okay, here we go. Here we go. This is the starting point. Okay, we're gonna zoop. We're gonna hit this. We're gonna pause. We're gonna rotate. And then we're gonna try to get up here somehow, and I don't know how we're gonna get up here. God, we have like 10 seconds for this. Whoop! Okay, we got one. Where's the next one? Where's the next one? Oh! Oh, we did it! That was very satisfying. I do like some of these moments. This is nice. I I'm enjoying this game. It's pretty solid. Same here, just bought my first home a couple months ago, but the journey to get there was brutal. Always felt behind my peers. Man, first home. Now I don't know where you live, so maybe that's not as, like, crazy as, like, it is out here in California, you know? Well, a few places are as bad as California, which maybe you're in California, I don't know. Um, but, man, like, home's next level shit. Like, the day I get a home, you won't be able to tell me nothing that day. That is, like, so crazy. Uh, yeah, a lot of people look at me and say, Wow, Joe, you truly have your shit together. You are magical and perfect. And little did I know, I also struggle. <laughs> oh, God. I hope I didn't sound like that. That's awful. But yes, yeah, it's, it's like... I, too, have issues. Ooh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna wait for the housing market to fully collapse. That's a good, um, that's a good plan. Uh, Moon Garbage, also a great name. Then I'll get one. I, too, am waiting for the fall of... I mean, honestly, the plan might melt before I can get this house, so... It is what it is. But, yeah, um... I feel like I can get a house. Like, I'm committed to, like, that being a possibility. But what's also weird about me is, like, I've moved so much. I'm kind of a vagabond. I'm like, well, I even enjoy... I mean, there's definitely, like... A security and glory to having a house that is un unparalleled but i'm like will i even want to be in like the same place how do i know where i'm gonna want to be for the rest of my life like i don't know you know what i mean that's that's my only not that that's what's keeping me from getting the house the insane amount of money is what's keeping me from getting the house but i do wonder about that um that's why what i really want to do and we'll see what i end up doing is like a family thing where it's like we go in on a house together we like slowly have like the unit or like a building together um just to give a little bit more freedom i feel like would be fun but guys if we all give janet 20 bucks she can probably buy a house okay um that's a sweet sentiment but being as there's 47 people here and x amount of couple dozen or hundred of people that watch the vod um i don't think that math shakes out but i mean if you want to put a dub on it go ahead um i'm not gonna stop you Okay, where to next? So, there's this building. In Germany, you can incorporate as individuals and build multifamily housing directly for your friends and family. That's cool. That sounds, I think definitely housing in America and in California leaves much to be desired. How do I get where I want to go here? I don't know. There's like some ghoulie in some places, like... Oh, oh, oh! I like that there's no fall damage. It's a thing. Alright, what are we looking at? Oh, it's about that time, too, for us to take our break and make our switch. Um, Alright, y'all, this has been Solar Ash. Uh, slash the crisis of being in your 20s and how it, you know, it's not that great. <laughs> um, though fun, there's fun to be had. There's a reason all sitcoms take place during that time. It's a, it's a formative, chaotic time. It's the best of times and the worst of times, which is the best kind of content.